welcome back to my channel the lights in front of me have blinded me by now because i am on my third video of the day and it has been 3 hours so with that in mind today i'm going to be bringing you a slightly different sort of video so i have never done a purely contouring or anything type of tutorial and whatever palette reviews and palette demonstrations i've done have always been eye shadow palettes but as you guys can guess probably also mentioned in the title bar i am going to be bringing you a tutorial on how to use your freedom pro pro palette before i get started i do want to put a disclaimer out there this has not been sponsored i purchased this with my own money during the nika a uh, sale the republic day sale and uh, i love this palette let's just start there this is not a review so let me tell you i love this palette it's a great purchase you have to go ahead and buy it 100 100 110% 100, the best contouring thing available in india right now of all of those that i've tried so with that in mind uh, this is what the palette looks like i don't want to show you what it looks like it comes with a ginormous mirror that i hope i'm not blinding the lights there you go anyway and then beyond that i'm going to hold it upside down you have three highlighting thingies over here so this is a beige matte beige highlight they call it a highlight but uh, it's just a beige powder this is a yellow powder again matte and then this is a pearly pinky sort of highlight now this is definitely not matte by any stretch of the imagination it's very very shimmery i hope you guys can see i hope my camera is picking it up very shimmery and it's not anything like i've had before it's not a shade that i already own but it is the shade that i'm wearing today and i will show you how i apply it now when we move on to contours this palette gives us three different options there is the lightest shade which is actually super light it's probably not going to be picked up on the camera but just in case it is this is what it looks like and then we have the darkest possible shade over here which i don't use it's too dark for my skin tone and then we have the medium one right here which i sometimes use because i can get away with it and this is the third one i really hope the camera is picking it up but if not i am going to show you swatches close up a little bit later so now that we've talked about what the palette is like i really like it because this caters to all the various different skin tones that a diverse country like india has you can mix and match sometimes i'll mix the lightest one to the medium one i hardly ever go into the darkest one i've tried it and kind of sort of made it work but not really it has everything that you could possibly need for powder contouring and powder highlighting and setting your under eye with that yellow tone powder to give it another highlighted sort of look so it's all in all pretty pretty dang amazing and keeping that in mind let's quickly head over to the tutorial and i will see you guys in just a second all right you guys so let's get started the brush looks like this it's an absolutely not an absolutely flat it's a dense brush but it's got that um, straight edge to it and i'm going to be going into the lightest shade right here and i'm going to start by contouring my nose a little bit so how i like to do is typically is load up the brush and then tap off excess a little bit on my arm because i would rather build up the color especially on my nose than start off with too much so i'm literally going to just touch and remove and it's going to leave a slight line it's not going to be very harsh because this color is the lightest and then i'm going to blend it with the same brush on the other side as well just touch and move so you'll get a nice sharp line it's a straight line down the side of your and then you use the whatever is left over it's not a lot of product to start with anyway and blend on the sides of your nose now you can blend a little bit upwards If you want your contour to be a little narrower, like your nose to be a little narrower, or you can blend downwards. Don't move the product around too much. That's the plan. Not to move things around too much. Just blend on the spot as much as you can. So this is my nose all done. Now I want to do the under part of my nose, and I want to be very careful not to get too much there. So I'm taking no more product and just running this right here. 
I already cream contoured before this. So I'm using this to set my contour, but you can do the exact same thing without the cream contour as well. And there the nose is done. So for the cheek, I'm going to go again into the same shade. Do the exact same thing. Tap off the excess on my arm. And then just stamp the product right where I want it. Just stamp. And it's going to leave a slight line. Then on my cheek, I like to blend upwards. So that my contour can hug the curve, the curve of my cheekbone and not go down and start looking too muddy. The idea is not to take too much product at, at one time, to build it up slowly. And then whatever is left on the brush, I like to run it on the sides. I will go back to that in a second anyway. But then again on the other side, tap off the excess and stamp. And can you see that there is a stamp here right now of some powder. So now you just want to blend upwards. I love using the mirror that comes in it for this. It's a great size mirror. I think that's it. Then for my jawline again now, no stamping. I'm just using it to set my cream contour on my jawline. Even when I don't use cream contour, I just brush some powder down my jawline a little bit to create a bit of a shadow there and that is it. Now I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I feel like my nose contour is not very blended, as blended as I wanted it to be. So I'm going to use my setting brush. Now this is the Real Techniques contour brush but I now use it for setting my under eye. It already has some of the powder that I had used to bake on it. So I'm not, not taking any more and I'm just blending. This brush is a good size to blend my nose contour but not a great size to apply it. And now I feel better about it. There. So for my highlight, I'm going to be using a fan brush. You can use whatever brush you want, whatever works for you. But I like a natural-ish highlight. So I'm going to be using a fan brush and going into this powder over here. It's a nice pearly pink toned powder. But pretty highly pigmented. You want to brush off the excess and just lightly highlight. Do you see that? I love this highlighter. It's not my favorite, but it's great for this packaging. I love that they included this one because this is not a color that I have otherwise. And it's so nice to have it in a palette that I can use at the same time, you know. I'm also applying a little bit of it to my brow bone. I like it. So I'm again going to be using my brush and applying just the smallest possible amount to my nose, the tip of my nose and done. that's the highlight. Now you can use the yellow powder with um, a brush like this, any setting brush that you like to use to set the under eye. I happened to bake today which is why I didn't use this but that is what you can use 
or you can even use this beige powder depending on your skin tone and your personal preference i prefer the yellow one because it's nice and highlighting but uh, you can use this as well sometimes i just mix so yeah that is how this palette works let me just quickly finish up the rest of my makeup and i will see you in a moment and that is my latest contouring routine. I have gotten so hooked onto this that I do it every single day. And I'm not the girl who contours every day. I'm not even the girl who has, you know, makeup every day. But I've enjoyed it so much that this has made me want to do a lot of contouring. Well, not, not a lot, some, but some contouring every single day. And I'm really enjoying it. I don't think I've ever contoured this well in my life before this palette came into my world so some of one of the best things about this palette is that it comes with its own brush now i love this brush let me just show you a quick close-up of what it's like so it's plain black but if you take a look at the bristles they're shaped in a kind of narrow manner which makes it possible to reach the sides of your nose possibly it fits perfectly in the contours of your cheek and it is very nice for contouring everywhere this is Probably the best, my most favorite brush now in my entire brush collection. With that, I think this is the tutorial and this is kind of my review and this is my, you know, go ahead for you guys that you guys can go ahead and buy this because it's, I love it. I really do love it and I highly recommend it to everyone. With that, I think that's all for today. I love you all. Thank you for supporting me the way you have. And for those of you who are new here, hi, my name is Arushi and I make beauty content here on YouTube. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It's that red icon, red button right there under the, you know, video window. And after you've done that, go ahead and click that notifications bell icon right next to it so that you can be notified as soon as I upload every time I upload. With that, I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you in my next one.